Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power of 15 plus x to the power of 10. This is equal to 36. Now, what is the values the value of x given that x is a member of real numbers? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now we can express x to the power of 15. This is the same thing as x to the power of 5 raised to the power of 3, then plus x to the power of 10 can be expressed as x to the power of 5 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 36. Now, we have x to the power of 5 here and x to the power of 5 here. So we can let x to the power of 5 be equal to u. Now let's substitute u back to this equation here so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 this is equal to 36 now let's take 36 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 36 this is equal to 0 so this is u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 36 which you can express as minus 27 minus 9 this is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 27, which is 3 to the power of 3, minus 9, which is 3 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. So this is u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. Then plus u to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now we have got two parts here. The first part is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. And the second part here, this is the difference of two perfect squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. Now from the first part here, that is a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This can be expressed as a minus b. a squared plus a times b, then plus b squared. Now we have u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. This can be expressed as u minus 3. Then here we have u squared plus 3u plus 3 squared, which is 9. Let's call this equation 1. And we have a squared minus b squared. This can be expressed as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So this implies that u to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2, this can be expressed as u plus 3 multiplied by u minus 3. Let's call this equation 2. Now let's combine equation 1 and 2. We have u minus 3 multiplied by u squared plus 3u plus 9, then plus u plus 3 multiplied by u minus 3 this is equal to 0 so u minus 3 and u minus 3 is common here so we can factor out u minus 3 into the parentheses we have u squared plus 3u plus 9 then plus u plus 3 this is equal to 0 now we have got two parts here. We have u minus 3. This is equal to 0. And here we have u squared plus 3u plus u. This is 4u. Then plus 9 plus 3. This is 12. Then this is equal to 0. Now we have got two parts here. The first part is u is equal to 3. And the second part here, this is a quadratic equation of the form au squared plus bu plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and that c is equal to 12. Now, we can assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4 is c. Now, let's substitute the values of a, b, and c so that we have 
4 square minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 12. 4 square, this is 16 minus 12 times 4, this is 48. Now we have 16 minus 48, this is equal to minus 32, which is less than 0. And you find that these are two complex roots. These are two complex roots. And this implies there is no real solution. There is no real solution from this quadratic equation part here. And this implies that the quadratic equation here is rejected. The quadratic equation here is rejected given that x here it's a member of real numbers. Now, let's proceed with u equal to 3. We have that u is equal to 3. Now, if you recall, we have that x to the power of 5, this is equal to u. So let's substitute the value of u, which is 3. So we have x to the power of 5. This is equal to 3. To solve for the value of x here, now we introduce the fifth root on both sides. So we have the fifth root of x to the power 5. This is equal to the fifth root of 3. So here we can eliminate this so that we have x is equal to the fifth root of 3, which we can also write as 3 to the power of 1 over 5. Now let's verify that the value of x here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that x to the power of 15 plus x to the power of 10. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now, let's substitute the value of x here, which is 3 to the power of 1 over 5. So we have 3 to the power of 1 over 5, raised to the power of 15, then plus 3 to the power of 1 over 5, raised to the power of 10. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now, we have that 3 to the power of 1 over 5 raised to the power of 15. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. So this implies that here we have 3 to the power of 1 over 5 multiplied by 15, then plus 3 to the power of 1 over 5 multiplied by 10. This is supposed to give us a value of the 6. Now let's simplify here. 15 divided by 5, this is 3, and 10 divided by 5, this is 2. So we have 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 2. This should give us a value of 36. 3 to the power of 3, this is 27, plus 3 to the power of 2, this is 9. And this should give us a value of 36. So we have 27 plus 9. This is equal to 36, which is equal to 36. So the left add side, this is equal to the right add side. And this confirms that the value of x here, which is equal to fifth root of 3, all 3 to the power of 1 over 5 here satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.